week, it's time to get handsy as we delve into the hand gestures you need to know for swift and effective work in the Lima Fusion Preview. The preview is super important as it's where you're going to actually see what you're working on, whether that's content on the timeline where you can delve into your edit frame by frame with your playhead here matching the frame you see in the preview, but we can also use the preview to view content before we actually add it to our project, like photos, videos, transitions and music. Now you'll notice there are quite a few icons around the preview itself, including these in and out points to top and tell your content before dropping it into the timeline, this information icon to find out details about your content, and even an option to add a marker to your work to highlight the most important moments either in an individual clip or on the timeline itself. These icons are all designed to help you manage and edit your media more effectively. You'll be using a selection of these every time you edit. But in this week's video, we're going to be focusing on the hand gestures that you need to know about to whiz around the preview like a pro. So without further ado, please grab your mobile devices for me and do these with me as I run through seven hand gestures that will get you editing with confidence. First off, you can use a single tap in the preview to play and pause your content. If you've selected a clip in the media library, it'll focus on that. But if you're working on the timeline, it'll play the content down there. Secondly, you can swipe down or up in the preview to mark an in point or out point on content selected from your media library. This can be done whether your content is playing or not, depending on your preference. You can use this gesture as an alternative to these in and out buttons or trimming handles down here. Remember you can move the in and out points at the same time by tapping and dragging on the double headed arrow. And to reset the points, just double tap on the film strip. Coming in at number three, we can double tap in the preview to grow the preview to full screen. Double tap again to return. This is especially useful when you want to play back content for reviewing. Next, we have the swipe left and right action in the preview to step forward and back one frame at a time. Use this when you're setting your in and out points on a clear pull, working with specific frames on the timeline. This frame by frame editing enables you to get really, really specific with your work. Hand gesture number five is the two finger swipe left and right in the preview to select the next and previous item from the library into the preview box to quickly browse and trim multiple items. If you've already pre-selected multiple items in the media library already, the selection you'll preview will be confined to the media you've chosen so you can see what you want. Coming in at number six is the ability to press, hold and drag the content in the preview to where you need it in the timeline. This is an alternative action to using the insert to main icon, which will drop your content where your playhead is on the timeline. And finally, press and hold the play button to open the incremental scrubber here to move slowly left and right on your footage. This is great if you need to play back your clip really, really slowly to find the bit you need for your edit. Just like anything we teach here at the Legal Touch Academy, this is all about practice, practice and yeah you guessed it more practice so have a go with those choose which hand gestures you like to use most and any questions at all please do pop them in the comments below as always for more content from the Lumen Touch academy i'll see you right here next week